Okay, let's do this fucking shit. Hey, what's up? Welcome to the episode 47 of <laughs> Sir Out here on your host, Drew Campbell, our fat guy, Al Jashawa. Hello, everyone. I don't know what he's doing. What do you? What, what impression know. is that? I don't know. Is this a dumb guy? I guess. I don't know. Like, this is a funny voice. It's a silly, silly voice I put on. That sounds like something you hear on the Banda show or something. It's man. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I was. Dude, thinking. that was a good ass show. Actually, I liked all that. About it. I liked all oh, that was cool too. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't fan of all that, but they pretty much all went to do uh, none of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like they all just failed horribly. We talked about Amanda Bynes on this before. And how she kind of had like a mental breakdown, right? You know, yeah. we talked about whatever happened to that one guy. His name, mm, Kanan Townsend, whatever he do. Did he get? Did he stick around sketches forever? Did he never leave sketches? I think he's still doing them. Yeah, right? I, think I think so. He's, yeah, what, what publication is he part of? <laughs> are they well known? Yeah. Uh, Who are they? Mad TV. Oh, Mad TV, dude. It's the best sketch show <laughs> of all time. I think it actually is. I think it's funnier than Saturday Night Live. You think so? I think, I mean, it wasn't around this long, but I think the comedy is better. Uh, certain skits. There's some, some doozies. Well, I think Mad TV is better than SNL now, but SNL. Oh, yeah, yeah. Day SNL's day was, dog was shit now. I think we both agreed upon <laughs> what that is. That being said, if SNL wanted to hire me for any role within their company. Oh, yeah, we're I, desperate. I, I will yes, we're desperate, it. please. But then they're going to look at this podcast and Shane Gillis us. <laughs> like, <laughs> It's gonna be me on a podcast going. You said you were mentally gay because <laughs> that the first mean? episode. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? It's, it's no deep dive. Like you just oh, search dude. our names on YouTube. Oh, and yeah. It's the first video. It's like, the first video up. is me just going retarded, dude. <laughs> so just me talking about being retarded for thirty minutes. <laughs> like, why do you think that was okay? We didn't think anyone would listen, but um, we are proud of our fan base. Yeah, we are small, but we are growing. You're a fucking loser if you listen to this. <laughs> You're so dumb if you listen to this. Huh? How much a little like do you have going on in your life that you actually listen to this podcast? I know. Or like, watch it. Imagine how sad it is to watch this. You're just watching us hang out, fucking loser. <laughs> this might be why we don't have views because just insult the people that listen to the show all the time. Yeah, this will be our our lowest <laughs> episode. It'll be like two people. I think that's how we lost. We had a big viewership bump for a while where we were like getting like. You know, hundreds of views, like both on YouTube and audio. And then I started insulting the fan base. Yeah. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I'm not doing this for money. This is art, guys. This is high art. I don't know if people could see the hole in your sock. Is there a hole in my sock? There's a huge hole in your sock. <laughs> I think that's, I just did that, dude. I was running around all the, Dude, that is real big hole. Look at Look that. Look at that. Oh, oh my. Uh-oh. Why am I even wearing socks? You have to censor <laughs> What's this the one. Point? Yeah. What's the point of wearing socks? Why are we wearing any oh, clothes? Oh man! Well, I don't know. This is the this we've been hanging out all day. Here's a nip, dude. What's up? What's up? Oh shit, dude! Do they flag for nudity? I don't know. Probably. Whatever. Check it. Free nip, man. No, Free I want nip, to see dude. Nip nope. slip. That was an accident. Nobody wants to see me. Dude, please show everyone your titty. <laughs> Come on, Evan, show us, show us your titty, dude. <laughs> <laughs> show us your fucking titty, no, dude. Show us your titties, I'll dude. Pass. I got beads in the corner. I'll give you beads if you show your titties. Beads. Beads. Not Why would beads. I want... <laughs> beads. I got beads. I got, I, I got a whole something. hive in the corner. <laughs> yeah, dude, I started making my own honey. <laughs> you have a bee. Some of like, you show us your titties. I'm going to summon a fucking swarm of bees on you. And it's like, I'm allergic. I'll die in two bites. Yeah. Bites, there's things. <laughs> Bee bites. <laughs> Do bees even have mouths? I, I think so. You I don't want to see how insects work. <laughs> Do bees have mouths? This man has a high school diploma. I know, but Do I... Do bees have mouths? I don't know, dude. They, <laughs> they might just have, like, little holes. They suck honey in. I don't know. Do they eat the honey? I'm not sure about how bees work. <laughs> Apparently, we need them, though, because they help pollinate. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. 
These podcasts are so much more fun in person. <laughs> Fuck Zoom, dude. <laughs> Zoom's dead. We're done with Zoom. Evan has to drive here every week now <laughs> to do this because they're what we're five. We're like five minutes in. It's way better than any of the fucking Zoom ones. I'm having way more fun immediately. <laughs> like, yeah, sipping on the Miller Light. Yeah. Sipping on Miller Light, chilling with my bud, dude. I fucking had a killer show last night. Uh, was it the segue to talk about how me how you killed? Yeah, this is me just bragging. Dude. Yeah. I was <laughs> murdered last night. Dude. Murdered in, the, in front of a group of tens. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how many people were there? About? I mean, I don't know. If I had a rough guess, I mean, like probably like between forty and fifty, but I don't think everyone was there for the show. It was probably like forty. I'd say. They're they're like cover charge. Yeah. I mean, that was fun. I mean, like, but it's cool when people pay to see comedy because they actually care. Then like, yeah. it's the way to go. I need to do more paid shows. <laughs> pay me to do stand up more, dude. I'm ready to roll on these streets. It's a good time to plug that a net pit is open to doing paid live yes. podcasts or stand up shows. We would do a live podcast, but you know we'd have to like bring in gags and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Feed each other on noodles. <laughs> it's just a noodle fight. Like that. <laughs> burp, burp, burp. Why is that there? Why do you own I this? Know. I don't even know what this is, man. But I was playing with it before the podcast. I've been using it as like a nunchuck or some shit. Like this. <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty cool. I think you can do this with it. I'll tell you what. You hitting me with that. It's gonna be the thumbnail to this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when like you go in this the pool, you go in the pool and then you fill it up with the water and <laughs> the noodles. <laughs> You're breathing that dude. Way. I want to drink beer out of this. <laughs> Hold it. Let's see if we can do this. This might be messy. I'm gonna drink beer out of it though. <laughs> I'm gonna beer bong out of a fucking noodle I found. <laughs> Damn it. This is messy. It's spilling all over. <laughs> it's all right. This is all my stuff. <laughs> All right, all right, right. You gotta hold this side up. <laughs> go, go, go. I'm not doing it. No, lift it up. <laughs> you did it. I got in my nose. I probably ate styrofoam or drank yeah. it. That was probably a really bad idea. It was like the onion. I think it was. Oh, the shit. Onion, I got in my nose. The onion article about, like, because of that during COVID, that, that's dead in the pool. Uh huh. Because of COVID, like, Oh, the, blowing the yeah in the pool like I'll still do it, dude. Board. I'm going out to the public pools tomorrow. I'm gonna start squirting me bowling. I'm like I'm a tugboat. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, dude. But yeah, the show was cool last night. But I like I already brought this up to you, but I gotta bring it up in here because it's just so funny. I mean, it's not that this person. A person came up to me at the show, <laughs> and they were trying to compliment me. But it was the weirdest compliment I've ever heard. <clears throat> oh, sorry, I had a burp. <laughs> sorry, Wonder quick, why. quick intermission. Yeah. Um, they walked up. I already told you, but they walked up to me after the show and told me, like, I don't really, I don't let, think uh, cis white men should do comedy, but you were funny. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Did she said they shouldn't do comedy, or that she didn't care for the stand up. She didn't. She even say no, no. That was the exact words. She said, "I don't think no, I don't think I don't cis really- white men are funny, but you were good." Okay. But that's, that's like a backwards compliment, don't yeah, you think? It's a compliment. It just really went, I don't really like the whole demographic of you. <laughs> like, I'm gonna say it's just a weird thing to say. It's also it's kind of hateful. It's not always it's not as hateful. I get it because, like, you know, cis white man come from a place of privilege. I can understand that whole statement. Yeah. But it's also come on, you can't you can't single out a group. No, for just like not just for comedy, at least. Like I could say if you were like cis white man. Have all the power in this country. They'd be like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 that, yeah, makes, sense. that makes sense. We'd be went, I don't like cis white men. It's like, all right, well, that's you're kind of now grouping up a generalization that doesn't really go out. Like, I just especially when you talk about like jokes and being funny. Because I just would be like, what are you doing? Did you see that thing that just? No, I through? didn't see that. You're fucking ruining what I'm talking. I'm just saying. I think her saying, I don't think cis white men are funny, would be like, I don't think gay black people are funny. I'm pretty sure a lot of people would be upset by that. People are probably going to be upset that I hypothetically said the thing. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, why'd you bring that up? Bring it up. Because if you put it in those terms, people are going to be like, oh, yeah, that's a pretty fucked up thing to say. Yeah. <laughs> like, 
No, definitely. Yeah, but I don't know. It's funny. I mean, like, they're being nice, but it's just a weird way to be nice. Like, hey, fuck you, but also, good job. <laughs> yeah, right. Anything about the set that stood out that was particularly super funny? Um, I mean, I, I did material. I, I, there was a heckler, but I just shut him down right away. There was, he was heckling a lot of people. But he wasn't heckling people in, like, a negative way either. He was, like, heckling in positive, which is always weird. Just when people, yelling out like, he's just punch yell- lines and stuff. No, like, no, answers just, just going, oh, my God. And just repeating shit and just going, that shit's hilarious. Like, yelling it out. So it wasn't like he was trying to be a dick, but then it is, I made a joke to tell him to shut up. And at one point, though, during my set, he came and just sat up on the stage, and I just ignored him. <laughs> that was a little buzz, though, from my set. I dropped a beer on stage. Is everyone like, oh. I don't remember what happened. <laughs> You're like, actually, I didn't even do comedy. It was all my dream. No, dude, I, I dropped. I remember I dropped a beer on stage. I made a joke about it. I, I, I don't even think I made a joke about it. I just kind of, like, let the tension play and then said something weird, you know. <laughs> professional it was fun dude it was a good show it was a good time a lot of people that i knew turned out for it it's weird it's a weird demographic of like people i knew very well to people i barely know to people i kind of know to people it's like i met you one time in my entire life <laughs> and now i'm supposed to be like yeah what's up dude <laughs> thanks for coming on the show thanks for being my fan base i don't know dude that's such a douchey thing to say when you're not famous fan base i feel like well, we have a fan base we're kind of famous in the and we're not kind world. of famous we have people that listen to us but that doesn't make us famous <laughs> you know who also had people listen to them Evan. who also had people listen to him hitler two opposite sex groups no, but it's just funny about the whole jesus thing i was just thinking about really it's like most people don't realize that he's real he is I know, it's what I'm saying though. Not even from a religious standpoint. Like most people are like Jesus isn't real, like they're atheists. Like, no, dude, he's real. Like, it's been proven it's just, science. It's not the proven man science, it's historical fact. Yeah, they're, they're, just like how Muhammad existed. Yeah. And Buddha. Like all these people, all ex- people they're all real people who said these messages. Now, whether you believe that they were true about their messages, yeah. that's up to debate. But it's like when people are like, Jesus isn't real, it's like, no, nah, no, nah, he's like a real guy. Like <laughs> you realize that, right? Like, yeah. Honestly. Yeah, you really go down to it. I don't believe Jesus was the Son of God, but I mean, if you read the New Testament, the New Testament doesn't have any of the bad parts of Christianity in it. How so? Like it doesn't have any of the things that people like talk bad about Christianity for. Uh-huh. There's nothing about persecuting other people's religions. It has nothing to do. Jesus never tells anyone he's gonna go. They're gonna go to hell. Um, he, Jesus never brings up anything about gay marriage. He has no problem with gay. Jesus is literally just going around like loving poor people and diseased people and like flipping over fucking tax payer, like tax lender yeah. fucking tables in church. Jesus was kind of sick, dude. He's a cool dude. Like, only thing is, I just think he was kind of delusional and thought he was the son of God. That was a yes. little, he's, well, agree to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> he's very kind of Buddhistic in a lot of those. Buddhistic. Buddha dick. <laughs> Buddha dick. Buddha. <laughs> Do you think Buddha had like a fucking fat hog? <laughs> I don't know. I think I he had a tiny chode, chode dude. Yeah. That's why he said give up all desire. You know, it's like the whole thing with Buddhism. I talk about. Do you not know <laughs> you about Buddhism? To him, you're like, wow, you're you know Buddhism? No, I mean, like, it's not a bad idea. Essentially, like, the only way to get hap- like, to be, like, purely found happiness is to give up desire and give up wanting things because the, and then also just accepting feelings instead of bearing on them. So a big thing is about giving up desire. So it's like not really like going into lust or anything like that because these are all just desires that eventually will make us feel sad. Yeah. It sounds like small dick energy. <laughs> just saying, Buddha sound like a little toe, dude. You need a little fucking wink of a thumb, you know? Poor Buddha. Just this fat dude with a tiny dick. He's just like, maybe we should all just not have sex anymore. <laughs> hey, I'm yeah, of course you'd say that, Buddha. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to put that on that one. That was so sad. <laughs> that's, that was so sad, dude. Yeah. Well, that's my Buddha Jesus talk, man. <laughs> we had a good day, though. So far, we went out to breakfast. Well, Juan, you woke me up. Well, uh, you woke me up. <laughs> no, you texted me. Yeah, I know. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah. I was I trying mean, to sleep, and you're like, get get up. Let's go out to eat. Yeah. Let's go see a movie. 
Are right, you glad you did that? It was a good day. So it's been good so far. Yeah, so far. And then the podcast started. And it's not even over yet. <laughs> you the, the podcast, podcast started just went downhill. Yeah, the podcast started. I started calling you fight publicly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And see, look at everyone. If anyone can clip the show, as soon as I call Evan fat publicly, he went, Yeah, and then he grabs wow, himself and my arm. His... My arm. <laughs> like, I had a sleep study done last night. Be kind to me. How'd it go? Like, you didn't tell me a lot of details about it. I don't know if I want to share the details. Come on. This is the whole point of having a podcast. No one fucking out here has probably had sleep. I've had one. Exactly. <laughs> I kind of counteracted my own that. point, but. Just you want like me to that. tell you about mine, then you tell me about yours? Why not? Yeah, mine, I was like 16. I was just dealing with like problems with like not sleeping. And then I went in there and I'm like, yo, I, that was no, it was before I was, I was like 14 or 13. This is how fucking stupid I was. <laughs> also, how dumb my parents were, kind of to degree, because I got this whole sleep state because I couldn't sleep. And then I go in there to <laughs> sleep study and like, would you like something to drink? I'm like, they're like, because you need to go to bed by night. I'm like, yeah, can I get like a uh, Coke or something? <laughs> <laughs> something to keep me up a little bit. Yeah, I'm like, I, I just want to study. I like, I like Coke. They're like, no, you can't have co- It's caffeine. They'll keep you up. I was like, oh, I got you. I'm like, all right, well, so what next? I'm like, I'm like well, kind of like, I like going to bed with a TV on. <laughs> can, I like, <laughs> can I watch TV? And they're like, no, it'll totally affect your sleep. I'm like, ah, oh, all right. So I didn't drink like any caffeine, any pop, and I didn't watch TV. And then I slept. I'm like, yeah, you're fine. You just, don't drink pop and watch TV to go to bed. That's how you, that's how you stay up, moron. <laughs> like, so eventually, I just charged this bill to my parents' house <laughs> just for them to go. What are you stupid? Like, <laughs> no, you just you're drinking soda and candy and watching TV. That's why you can't go to bed. You <laughs> fucking fat idiot. <laughs> like, because that was back when I was chunky. Yeah, the little tub tub. Uh, those little chunk or chunk i weighed more dude this is crazy to think about i weighed more in sixth grade than i weigh now (laughs) (laughs) banana like and not even like by a little like i weighed 20 (laughs) pounds less than i did i was 200 pounds that's why i was great at football dude i was a monster lineman i was a tall fat i mean i only grew like two inches two three inches since then too I, I was like six foot in sixth grade, dude. Yeah, I was I fucking tall, huge. Yeah. And then I started smoking pot and cigarettes, and I didn't really grow much after that. I was expected to be like, I should have been like six, eight. I wouldn't have done all the drugs and cigarettes and it's like a rock star. If I, I just did, did a bunch of to get in the party live, I would have been way taller. I mean, I would have. I mean, technically, it's like they talk about that. Like, all that kind of shit stunts your growth. If I would have stayed like on straight and narrow, dude, I'd probably be like, I'd be probably taller than you because I was taller than you when we were younger. Yeah, dude, in like sixth grade, I was. Yes, it was. We were about the same height. I was about a little taller. All right, well, that's what you say. And that's what I remember. Anyone listening who knew us when we were in sixth grade, comment who you thought was taller. No, who the fuck listens to from our school? <laughs> we invite people and they like the page. Yeah, that doesn't equate fucking views. Also, I'm pretty sure I shit on everything from our high school, except for buds. We still got a few buds from high school out there. <laughs> I, ain't shit, I ain't talking shit about the boys, man. Hold up, hold up. We, we them boys. boys. Hold up, hold up. We, we them boys. boys. We making noise, right? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I just know that clip. I just know the one part of that. Is a hold up, hold up. We, we them boys. boys. And then here's what the boys are like. Yeah, we are them boys, aren't we? <laughs> we, we are them boys, huh? We them boys. Yeah. Oh, don't get all weird on Yeah, we went to Nori's. Evan ordered three meals like normal. <laughs> no, I ordered an appetizer and three two meals. So appetizers are small meals. So okay. like basically two meals. They, technically, Evan's trying to say that he only ordered two appetizers. He ordered mozzarella sticks, and then his other appetizer was chicken strips, which is totally not a normal app. That's totally a meal. But it was good. <laughs> 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 Touche, Evan. And then you did the most psychopathic thing I've ever seen someone do. Your meal was you ordered a, a hamburger with french fries, but your hamburger was just lettuce. No, it had everything on it. And I ate. Well, then you ordered it just lettuce. Well done. What's wrong with well done? First off, everything. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking an idiot. 
What do you have no taste? You just want you want to taste burnt carcinogens? What are you a fucking masochist? I hate you. I hate you. There is nothing wrong with a well done burger. I there is everything wrong with a well done burger. Well, you want to be medium rare? Yes, this is a, no medium is like actually I'm a big medium guy, but it's hard when you order medium because a lot of times medium will usually come more done. Like an actual medium is the perfect way to eat meat. I think an actual medium. Well, I think well's more healthy. Where's your? What, you, but uh, you didn't order well. You were well done. Oh, what's the difference? Isn't it kind of who fucking named all the shit with me? <laughs> <laughs> rare, right. medium rare, medium well, well. Well done. <laughs> Sounds like a fucking haiku. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a weird way to be like. Well, okay, so I get like rare. Yeah. What? Okay, look up on your phone. What is the definition of rare? Because isn't that mean? Like I'm thinking of rare as in the sense. Besides, when I think of me, it just means like it's hard to find. It's like harder to acquire. It's um, out of the ordinary. It's not something that you'll come across every day. Kind of like something you'd have to struggle to find. A rare occurrence, as they would say, or a rare find, or a rare person. It's meat that has been cooked for a very short period of time, leaving the center cool and red in color. Now, what's the other definition? Because I, I, the one I'm saying is also a definition. You know, what I'm not wrong. What I was just using rare as. Are they spelled different? R-A-R-E. But you know what I'm saying, right? Like, yeah. like oh, this is a rare occurrence. <laughs> I'm not talking about a fucking type of meat when I say that. <laughs> Which one came first, the meat or the, the rarity? Uh, the rarity of the situation. Yeah, it's a word. It I read, it's damn un- it. Uncommon. Yeah. Was that the, the first definition is the meat one? No. Is uncommon the first one? What's the first definition when it pops up? What's the most popular? So which one came for it? So are they saying that when you order your shit rare is that it's uncommon to do that and you're a gross person? <laughs> like you're a disgusting human being that you are eating essentially raw meat, you fucking animal. You savage. I'm going to shock you with a cattle prod because you're a fucking animal. I oh, know I can't find it. Oh, I just asked you what the first definition was, which is like the first definition that popped up when you looked at it. it I, I said it. That's what rare was. It was the meat one. Yeah. Okay, so that one was the more popular of the two. Oh, you just found me to type the word rare in? Yeah, just type oh, in the word rare you're, and see what pops up first. I thought you were asking first. me to define No, I'm rare. not asking you to define. Just pop up rare and see what pops up first. What is the more, you know... What is the more common? Oh, it's not occurring very often. So it is. Okay. So that, that, that is the most. Point. So they're saying like, yeah, it's not occurring very often to get something rare, which is fun because, which actually kind of makes sense because a lot of uh, restaurants are afraid to cook things rare because of, uh, you know, food poison. Yeah. Which means you shouldn't be eating shit rare. You fucking sap. That's why I got well done. But well done is clearly for those who just have no taste. Like, you're a sack of shit to eat anything well done. Unless it's a hot dog. Hot dog's the only thing that can be eaten well done. No, well done hot dog, that's fine. Burn the fuck out of hot dog, because it's that's not a, real meat That's anyways. such an aggressive way. If someone that is well done, you're like, you sack of shit. <laughs> I'll fight you. I'll yeah. fight you, dude. I want to fight you there and then. Would you eat that? First off, hamburger. What the fuck? When did you not start having cheese? You had mozzarella sticks before you ordered a goddamn hamburger, you <laughs> lunatic. You fucking lunatic. I you put cheese, cheese on a burger. You put cheese on a burger. It costs more. Or 50 cents more. You ordered three meals. You can't spend the 50 cents more for cheese. Did that's where you, three that's meals, if you cut I it up. How meals. much did you bill? I don't want to share that publicly. How much did you bill? I want to share it God. 20 something dollars. Well, mine was like 20 something dollars. Yeah. Well, you also, you also had like two full plates. I didn't realize that. I was gonna have you had like a whole plate. pound of. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why I didn't realize. I was like, I ordered a meal, but I was like, I also, they're known for their corn beef here. So I want to yeah, try the whole hash. pound. So I didn't order a pound. I they just ordered a, a side of fucking hash and it just came out to be like a fucking. Dude, it was like two pounds. It was so much. I didn't eat it all. Those plates were huge. Yeah, they were good servings. Yeah. We need to go back there. 
That's our new spot. Yeah, it is the new new spot. Also, waitress like me. Oh my, here we waitress go. Waitress like this, me. I've been know. talking about this for I, seven hours. No, now. I, nah, I just like it because it makes me feel good. You know, there's not a lot of times that guys get this. You know, I'm not even talking about pursuing it. But that makes you feel good. It's a little something you get to put in your pocket, save for later when someone likes you. Meanwhile, they, I probably left and they're like, you see Sasquatch coming here? here? Oh, you I see can... fucking <laughs> guy ordered? Goddamn, goddamn Shrek came in here, cleared out the kitchen. It's funny because I was wearing this exact same shirt. Yeah, Shrek came in here, he ate his fucking bear, dude. We're closing early today. I literally thought I was the only person there who had any sort of lunch food. Uh, there was one person I saw got a pita wrap, but I, I was a breakfast dude. Everyone was eating breakfast. I don't think I've ever seen you eat breakfast. You don't. Eat, I the one I did go out to eat breakfast with you at a diner once, and you ordered spaghetti and Bosco sticks. <laughs> Remember that in Rose yeah. City? Oh yeah, you, years I've years literally ago. never seen you eat breakfast food. Love lunch. <laughs> I love lunch. <laughs> I love, I I love we, lunch. We got that put on a shirt. Just had a. I love lunch. <laughs> Evan, what's <laughs> it's noon? <laughs> can we please skip? Uh, can we please skip the restaurant? We got places to be. I love lunch, <laughs> dude. I love lunch shirts. That's a great that shirt. That would sell out. Quickly. I love lunch because <laughs> it's two things, right? Some people like to eat, and some people just like a half hour break from work, right? If you see someone, I'm a that, dinner guy. You see that someone wearing that in the morning, like that guy's not fucking. Around. <laughs> yeah, that guy's that guy's ready for lunchtime. Dude. <laughs> it's eight a.m. It's eight a.m. Yeah, but I he's love waiting, lunch. He's waiting for lunch. <laughs> it's, it's it's such a casual Friday shirt yeah. at the office. I love lunch. Oh, it's lunchtime, Larry, dude. Lunchtime, lunchtime Larry gets hyped for lunch. He's like, yeah, I brought chili I made from home. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I made. I brought chili. I also made my own quesadillas. <laughs> I got a whole pan of quesadillas and chili for everybody. I love lunch. <laughs> I'm lunchtime, Larry. I love lunch. <laughs> what voice is that? I don't know, dude. They're just silly voices. Stop trying to nail them down. I just think it's funny of a guy going, I'm fucking lunchtime, Larry, man. Like lunchtime is my time. Sounds like it'd be an SNL. Yeah, lunchtime, like Larry. I just thought of it in two seconds. I'm like, that's like an SNL guy. It's just it's like, like a month right I could now. see Chris Farley doing that. I love lunch. lunch. I love lunch. <laughs> I love lunch. <laughs> One of those guys who's like fucking, he's like fighting on a union just to get lunch extended five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> lunch is 30 minutes. I need at least um, 35 minutes. An hour. I need, no, just he's just he's fighting for five more minutes of lunch. <laughs> <laughs> it takes me at least 35 minutes to have the feast I perform for myself at lunch. All right. I don't think you understand. First off, I start with the chili. Oh, not the chili again. I start with the chili. Right. <laughs> It's a it's a chicken chili, so <laughs> so it's a cream based sauce. You know what I mean? It's a cream based chicken chili. Got some jalapenos in there, um, and then I get the quesadillas. All right, the quesadillas made out of armadillos. <laughs> but every time I make a quesadilla, I kill two armadillos. <laughs> I scoop out their bodies. I fill their shells with cheese and I fry them on both sides. Someone's stealing this idea. The quesadilla right armadillo. Sketch dude. comedy troupe is stealing this idea. Ar- quesadilla armadillo is such a fun thing to say. Quesadilla armadillo. Yeah, you said me put a smile on your face. Just say it. People at home, say it with me. Quesadilla, quesadilla armadillo. armadillo. <laughs> I'm retarded. <laughs> <laughs> We've about reached the uh, almost the halfway point of the program. We're having a blast. Here. So much fun in person. So much more fun in person. Also, I don't care about censorships anymore. I've lost everything. What are you going to take from me? <laughs> My job. Go ahead and have it, you fascist fucks. Like, <laughs> All right, Evan. Now you say something. <laughs> So after, you know, we just got back, we saw... Oh, we know we didn't talk about the whole waitress thing, because that's funny. Let's put up debate. We're going to leave it to the comments. Does this waitress like me or not? And I want from 
Evan's point of view because it's way funnier because I didn't realize any of this until our friend David said something about it. And I was like, is that what happened? And then I was like, oh, I didn't even put myself together. I went to this place unshowered, un like because I just woke up on a couch and I went there. So I was like, unshowered. Yeah, you look rough. <laughs> teeth weren't brushed, slept in these clothes, didn't have deodorant on. I'm like, girl, like me? Off of this, I must be a handsome man. Yeah, so we went to this diner, and uh, Drew was wearing an incubus black shirt. He's now wearing a ghost black shirt, but he was before he was wearing an incubus black shirt. I only wear black shirts. And this waitress comes, and she like smiles at him. He's like, "I like your shirt," and you're like, "Oh, thanks." Clearly, not understanding the flirtation that was happening. You know, it wasn't even that, like at the time I just thought I was like, oh, she must like incubus or something like that. I was like being nice. But then when someone pointed out, I was like, yeah, she was like smiling a lot and like not like a normal, like not like a, you know, when someone's like a bashful smile. Yeah. 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 It's like a bad, you know, it's like you kind of look down like that. And then we didn't really have her as a waitress the whole time. But as we were leaving, Drew left his pen. Wait, no, 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 no. Tell it, tell the story. If you're going to tell it right, you tell it one point at a time. That was the first time. No, tell the story. You're, I'm gonna just do it. You're yeah. bad at telling stories. <laughs> so we're leaving the restaurant. We're walking out. We're in the parking lot. And I hear, "Oh wait!" And we turn, and it's the her. And she had. And she goes, "You left this," and came up and gave me a pen. I was like, "Oh, I left my pen." <laughs> a pen I didn't even know I had. Yeah, exactly. I was like, "Oh, thank you. That was nice. You know, so, yeah, I appreciate it." She says, "Yeah, yeah. Have a good day." Walks back inside. So we go back to walk back to the car, and like as we're getting closer to the car, we are. Oh wait! Stop! Turn around. She was actually like, you also left this. I walk up to her and it's just fucking matches. And she goes, I don't know if this is important or not. And I'm just like in my head, I'm like, no, of course it wasn't. <laughs> it's fucking matches. And I heard David yelling. He's like, get her number, Drew. <laughs> I'm not interested on that level. Like anything like that right now. Like at least with random waitresses. <laughs> then you're walking back. He was like, dude, she totally... Yeah. And flirting that... with you. And I was like, yeah, dude, she's pretty interested. And you're like, nah. And then after a while, you're like, Maybe you guys are right. No, even while it was just like one minute, because then you said it, and I thought about, it, and then I recollected all like, well, like also like even like because she talked to us a few times like in between like giving us coffee and stuff like that, yeah. and then, like I recollected like all of her exchanges was like she was kind of a little nicer than a normal waitress. Yeah. <laughs> like to me. then you're like, well, we have to go back there. I know it closes early. We have to go <laughs> I back was there kidding. for lunch. I was, I was like, let's go back for lunch. I was. It's so funny if I was turned around and just went back. He's like, why are you here? It's just like, I don't know, love. Like, <laughs> <laughs> is love on the menu tonight? <laughs> Give me a little cup of love. And by love, I mean coffee. <laughs> I was kidding. No, no, I'm not going back there. At least I'm not without you. like, I'm not going back there today. <laughs> yeah, go tomorrow. I'm yeah, like, tomorrow. I'm there. while it's opening, I'm like, <laughs> scratching at the window. <laughs> Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. I need to feel liked. <laughs> No, nah, it was Please. funny though. I thought it was funny because I was like, I, I realized like in my entire life, I've never been good at picking up when uh, girls are like into me. I only know if I'm into a girl and then I just pursue them and then event- inevitably win them over by beating them down with uh, jokes. Yeah. <laughs> but I've never been able to pick up like if I have like a girl like me without my, like I've never been able to pick up on that my entire life. Same here. It's probably because I'm, same here, man. Probably because I'm retarded. <laughs> like, well, that's part of it. Bad picking up social cues. Oh, that's me all day. Well, that's because we already did the test, dude. You're autistic. Or you have Asperger's. I mean, you did the autism test. The results came back. You never looked into that, did you? Why would I look into that? I don't know. Maybe, it, it'll, maybe it'll it cure it. your fatness. <laughs> hey, somehow. I'm just gigantic. This is all bone. No, it's not. Are you doing the big bone technique? Oh, yeah. This is all bone, dude. Well, that's not all bone, but, like, I feel gigantic. You are you are a big motherfucker, dude. It's so fun. Like, I love going places with you because, dude, I'll just, like, like, I was laughing. I just... I just saw you at the counter paying for your meal and just started laughing. You, just, you look ridiculous everywhere. That's how big you are. <laughs> you just look ridiculous. Right, you home. don't look like you belong anywhere. Except a woman's pussy. <laughs> I, I don't know why I said that. It's funny, though. Across the line. Oh. <laughs> I said pussy last night during my set. I got weird just said it as part of a joke yeah i don't remember what it was though did you record this at all <laughs> no 
You didn't I, record the set? No. Should have, right? See, go back to your 35 and see what you can tweak. Yeah, it would have. Yeah, it would have been the right thing to do. But my phone's broken. Hmm. My whole life sucks. I don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> my phone doesn't work. That would have been a cool thing for the pod is to listen back to the set. Because I wasn't there. I don't. I wouldn't want to put my set out there. I'm saving Some, it. Someone's I'm not saving it. I'm No, kidding. I'm saving it for that Netflix money, dude. <laughs> They're coming for a cis white male like me. <laughs> dude, there's such a lack of cis white males in comedy right now. No, but you're you're funny. You're special. Oh, the yeah. That's what my mom told, told me, too. <laughs> <laughs> True, you're a very special boy. Who knew that she meant I was retarded? Like, <laughs> Odds are re releases a stand up special just be on YouTube, like most comics. Yeah, I mean, that's probably the, that's probably the way to go. Uh, it'll be on YouTube and it'll have 17 views. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put it on the inept page. Yeah, this, is only, check this, out. this has only been like, you know, eight years of my life. <laughs> yeah. We just got back from uh, Suicide Squad. Yeah. The Suicide Squad. Yeah, not that shitty fucking stupid one with Will Shitface Smith. That movie sucked, dude. I didn't want to watch the original, like the one, the first one that came out. But like, I I looked at, I saw the trailer. I'm like, this looks like it's gonna suck, and I the refused to watch it. And then I heard, yeah. And then I heard a bunch of people Talk saw it, it, and they said it sucked. And then my roommate at the time, my girlfriend at the time, were both pressuring me to watch it. Like, come on, you've never seen. Just watch this movie. Just watch this movie. And then I watched it, and I just ripped it to shreds the whole time we watched it. Like, this movie's terrible. You didn't watch it in theaters? No. I no. saw I do I saw it like years after it came out. Didn't know that. Or at least a year after it came out. Yeah, no, I didn't see that in theaters. But this one was fun. This one was it's fucking good. Fucking James good. Gunn did a great job. James Gunn's a great James Gunn doesn't make bad movies. Look up James, look at a list of James Gunn movies. Bright side. I'm pretty sure that's <laughs> the, the name of the film. I was trying to bring it up at lunch. Like, I couldn't yeah. think. I think it's Bright Side. Or burn bright. Wasn't James Gunn fired by Disney? Yeah, but they rehired him. Yeah, they're like, you're too. That's how, no, it's not that. He made like a rape joke on Twitter and they like, they kicked him off and then they're going to make Guardians of the Galaxy 3 and Dave Batista, Batista, former wrestler as well. Uh, legit is such a cool dude. He was like, no, nah, this is bullshit. He's like, I'm not coming back to do Guardians of the Galaxy 3 unless James, Jim, Gunn, James Gunn does it. Otherwise, I'm out. Like that's 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 called being a friend and having loyalty. Which holy shit in a modern day society, how rare is that? How yeah. crazy? How many of you right now have a friend that if they got in trouble for a rape joke and you're not even famous would abandon them? Fucking shout out Dave Bautista. That's fucking awesome. That's such a cool thing. Or Dave Bautista. <laughs> and you got James Gunn movies. Yeah, uh, Scooby Doo, Scooby Doo Two, Monsters Unleashed, dude, solid movies. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, uh, they're all right, but that, that's early on in his career, and also uh, he also directed movie forty three. What movie forty three was that? Yeah, that was like with all the actors, right? Ensemble cast. Yeah, that bad? was good, dude. I thought I heard it was bad, wasn't? It? I liked it. I thought it was fun. I mean, for well, it's essentially just a bunch of sketches. Yeah. I mean, some people don't like it just because of that, I guess, but I don't know what the fuck. That was just like kind of like it wasn't even really a movie. He was an executive for Avengers. Executive, by the way. Can we just do his movies? I'm looking at Why the is this so hard? just pulling up The Suicide Squad, yeah. The Gardens of the Galaxy, Brightburn. Brightburn, that's the name. That movie's fantastic. Also, he didn't do like, did he do Super Slither? Slither's great. That's with Michael Rooker. Who played Savant in uh, Suicide Squad? Where he has long white hair. Michael Rooker's. Great. I have Michael Rooker's fucking autograph. You want to see how big of a nerd I am? Oh, was crazy. Just going a wall. No, I, I met Leaving. Michael Rooker once. It's crazy over a He was in. He was the main character of Slither. He was in um, Guardians of the Galaxy. Him and fucking look. It's Michael Rooker's autograph. Check this I'm, out, everyone. I'm my fucking lame ass Yandu. Everyone find out where Drew lives and steal this. This is worth... I'm stealing this today. I mean, it's probably <laughs> worth like a couple hundred. If that. You have to be a big Michael Rooker fan. And, I mean, I got... <laughs> I wasn't you know, like... A, it's the Guardians of the Galaxy character he played, but I like Michael Rooker a lot. He's a really good actor. 
I liked him the most though from uh, Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer. That's like such a fucking weird, bizarre um, horror movie. What were we talking about? Oh, Suicide Squad. It was funny. Sylvester Stallone playing a fucking shark. Dumb shark. Everyone won't let me go. Won't let me say it. Are we gonna say? It? I already said it. All right, you're like. Sylvester Stallone was a retarded Don't shark. Say that. You're going to get us canceled. I'm retarded. It's okay. How can I get canceled for being retarded? Are they going to start canceling people for being retarded? That doesn't sound fair. That doesn't sound progressive. I don't think you're that. I am, though. (laughs) You don't get to decide, Evan. The doctor does. Yeah. Right. I feel very uncomfortable. Why? I don't know. Stop loosening up, big boy. What else do you want to say about Suicide Squad? You made a whole post on your fucking Facebook about Suicide Squad. So it was a good movie, and I tagged that I saw it in theaters. Would you ever have saw that movie? It wasn't for me. Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> Are you glad? Are you glad you have me as a friend now sometimes? It's a funny movie, man. It's like, James Gunn's just a funny guy. Also, his soundtracks for movies are just always badass. Yeah. Opens up with a Johnny Cash song. That's great. Pixies. Pixies are in it, yeah. <laughs> There's only two songs we named. <laughs> no, there's a K Flay song, yeah, which is so. that's a crazy, like that's a, like a real deep burn of like a K Flay song. And I was the same, there's like the soundtrack's great. It's just like he just picks the right song to fit the mood always. Yeah. Like, I, I like think it. that's a big thing in movies that sometimes I don't always have. And his movies always hits as like the music and the sound always links up in his yeah. movies. Like it's just the perfect song. Like there wouldn't be a better song for this moment. Like he's really, really good at that. All right. Let's, let's be more funny though. Farts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're uh, great comics. Huh? We're two great comics entertaining the masses here. Yeah, dude, we're fucking killing it. When did we start? 6 30. We have like a little bit over 15 minutes left. We have more than that. We got like we gotta do about 20. Well, we ran out of shit to talk about already. Right? <laughs> well, we could you, talk about this. Evan, can you pass me that glue, please? What, you're going to eat glue? No, I'm going to huff some glue. <laughs> Make me funnier for the podcast. Oh, yeah, I'm feeling it. This is the good shit. This is the Elmer's glue, dude. This, this is the good stuff. This podcast brought to you by Elmer's glue. Don't huff us, but, you know, maybe do whatever you want once you buy us. <laughs> One that I've always this is a bull, right? On the I think the so. logos or the cow bull. It's a bull. Okay. It's bullshit that I can't huff it. <laughs> <laughs> Multi-purpose glue, bond strong. Dude, were you one of those dumb kids like me that just like to put glue all over his hand so he could peel it off? <laughs> no. I was big in that dude. I was like, well, I'll give you the big old thing, Elmer's gonna we'll be putting it on my hands. Now here's the real question. This type of glue or glue sticks? Oh, this type of glue. Oh, glue sticks are awesome. Yeah, no, glue sticks. Glue sticks are for sissies. <laughs> glue, Never stick, quicker, you glue sticks are the... for glue sticks are for cis white males. <laughs> you would just do the back of the paper and you stick it down. This glue, you have to wait for. No, but you say down. that. But you say you blah, 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 You just put it down, and then it, you know what you do happens right after that. It just goes. It always pops up. You know, it just like it always rolls up on you. This shit pissed me off, dude. I'd ruined so many art projects out of fits of anger because I couldn't because <laughs> it wouldn't here's, stay here's down. My, I was like, you know what? Well, now I'm just gonna rip it in half. Here's Look. my wrinkled dragon. Yeah, here's my dragon made of fucking popsicles and my tears. <laughs> so that's one thing to talk about. Glue. Well, I just get covered. Glue. I just get high. I'm just huffing glue on the podcast. It's not really a conversation point. It's more about huffing fucking glue, dude. I wish that was in style. Huffing glue, it Huffing probably glue is. Be great, dude. We haven't found the right, right group, community, right yeah. crowd. I bet you there's a Facebook group. Should we look it up? Can you look up Facebook Huffing Glue community? No. Groups Huff Glue Advocates. <laughs> We're starting advocating group. for Huffing Glue. I'll start that Facebook group tomorrow. <laughs> Invite everyone. Yeah. This is for everyone who loves to huff glue. Y'all, you big huffer. Post, where my where my huffers at? Put, post your Elmer. Where's my huffle puffle off, at, dude? <laughs> Post your Elmer's photos in the yeah. chat. Me, me and Elmer's photo. It's like pictures like this. Huffing glue. What is that fucking? Where's my Hufflepuffs at, dude? 
Harry Potter is just like Hufflepuffs were just a bunch of fucking fat kids that like to snort glue <laughs> off glue. <laughs> That's why they were never in any like anything major in the fucking movies. They just were just meanwhile they're just back. Everyone else is doing all this crazy magical shit. Hufflepuff, <laughs> Hufflepuffs all just <laughs> huffing glue. <laughs> They're, they're back in their dorms just huffing glue. <laughs> just walks up, get the sorting hat on you, and you go, huh, this guy, he's like, oh, he's got glue dripping out of his nose. I wonder what group he's going to go to. Ravenclaw. The Raven, what the fuck? <laughs> Slytherin. Slytherin sounds like a slur. It's like snakes, right? Yeah, but it's doesn't it? Yeah. Doesn't it sound like something for you shouldn't what? say? Like any, not, what, not nothing for specific snakes. <laughs> I think it's very insensitive to snakes to say Slytherin. It's yeah. a hard end you put on that Slytherin, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I like Slytherin, you know? More Slytherin. of a Slytherin guy. But uh, reminds me of that scene from Airplane. Put the wrong day, just stop sniffing glue. What? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Now I do. Pick the wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. God damn, what a great movie! Someone else has brought that movie up to me. Airplane is so much fun. It is, it's, it's amazing. It's Leslie Nielsen films, man. It's it's a subtle Nielsen comedy, great, dude. It's not even subtle. Well, just the random parts. It's just like the girl it, on the plane. It's just such wordplay. Like you know? like it's just wordplay. Like pull up a Liam Neeson. Like. Uh, pull no, please, please. <laughs> take it. Pull, pull up like one of it. Just pull up lines from them. We'll read them off because they're really good. It's just An really airplane? solid. Anything, just not because Naked Gun. Yeah, those movies are fantastic. I love them. Uh, I love it. This is a very underrated movie that it's in. Um, Mel Brooks did a movie called Dracula Dead and Loving It, where he plays Dracula, and that movie is super funny. Mm-hmm. And I don't think that gets love. It's not one of the bigger Mel Brooks movies, but I think it's worth it. Now here's the thing. How do you feel about Airplane 2? Oh, well, you've seen Airplane 2. Do I need to see it? Exactly. That's what I, I mean, it's not bad. It's just nothing compared to the original. Like you know, I, I, I don't say that anyone has to see Airplane 2. But Airplane, if you haven't seen Airplane, that's like one of my favorite comedies. It's just so silly. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. Don't call me Shirley. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a great line. <laughs> Captain, how how soon can you land? I can't tell. <laughs> You can tell me I'm a doctor. No, I mean, I'm just not sure. <laughs> well, can't you take a guess? Well, not for another two hours. <laughs> you can't tell you guess for another two hours? <laughs> what was it we had for dinner tonight? Well, we had a choice of steak or fish. Yes, yes, I remember. I had lasagna. <laughs> These are all from me. I'll get some more. We just turned into reading his quotes <laughs> for the rest of the podcast. You better tell the captain we got to land as soon as we can, but someone has to be got into a hospital. A hospital? What is it? <laughs> it's a big building with patients, but that's not important right now. This is <laughs> that, that's the lie. Yeah. It's, a, it's a hospital. What is it? It's a big building with patients, but that's not important right now. <laughs> that's such like a, that's such a, we just purposely misconstrue what they're trying to say because he's like saying like, what's the problem? That's such pure form of comedy, dude. That's such blatant pure form of misdirection <laughs> comedy, misinterpreting things on purpose for the less sense of laughter. God damn it. Airplane is the like fucking epitome of comedy. If you watch Airplane, you don't like it. You fucking suck. <laughs> See, this is why our podcast doesn't do well because I just insult yeah. the audience. If you don't agree with me, you can go fuck yourself. I like this line for police squad. Who are you and how did you get in here? I'm a locksmith. And I'm a locksmith. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no more. We can't, we gotta be funny, but that was like, that's really good. That's from Police Squad? Yeah. I don't think I've seen Police Squad. That was one of the I've never ones. heard of that. I've heard of Police Academy. <laughs> That's good. I'm a locksmith. I'm a locksmith. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. I got pissed. We got like 12 minutes left. Yeah, we don't have to count on the watch, dude. I think the, the phrase is clock. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone. Someone's had a little too many, too much Miller lights. Got countdown to watch, dude. 
Watch it out. What was, what was that movie, uh, Neighborhood Watch? Watch of Night, Night of Watch. What's the fucking movie with Ben Stiller, Vince Vaughn, Jonah Hill, and that guy from Britain? <laughs> I don't know. I never Dodge saw ball. anything besides that movie. I was going to say Dodgeball. No. It's... We're the Neighborhood Watch. And then they fight aliens. Head of Watch. Smart no, that's like that one with Jake Gyllenhaal. Who's in this? Ben Stiller, Vince Vaughn. Ben Stiller, Vince Vaughn, and Jonah Hill. Where they form a neighborhood watch. And then, like, they end up, like, fighting aliens. The watch. Oh, that's it? Okay. Drafted by one of the Lonely Island people. Keep a shot. Keep a shaper. It's a funny movie. Never seen it. You haven't? Maybe we'll watch it tonight. No, we got other plans. We're going to watch SummerSlam after this, yeah. dude. This the biggest party of the summer. <laughs> yeah, two guys recording a podcast and then watching wrestling. Well, how funny is this? We're, we, we went and saw Suicide Squad with John Cena. Then after this, we're going to watch wrestling that has John Cena in it. <laughs> we're getting a big, hefty dose of John Cena, which, if you look back there, I got a John Cena in action figure. <laughs> John Cena, if you're listening, please retweet, share where you're your biggest fans yes i mean sure <laughs> i i do like him in movies dude he's gotten like real he's got he was, really he good some of the funniest songs he was like that. the funniest part of that movie he was great in that. and like i don't know if you ever seen the movie um cock blockers no oh, dude that movie's super funny it's about like him he's like a parent it's him and a guy that used to be on um mad tv actually and another girl that's usually in a lot of adam sandler films and they're all parents and all of their daughters are like best friends. Um, so they, um, it's like they're like homecoming or prom and they end like receive texts, like realizing that their kids are all trying to, are planning to have sex that night. So all of them get together and then try to point, like try to stop their kids from having sex. It's like this is like the side adventure. story to American Pie. <laughs> Essentially, like yeah. It's like instead of them getting laid, it's like What's them trying to stop. Cock blockers. That's a really funny movie. It's a really funny name for a movie. Yeah. Must be rated R, huh? It has cock in the name. <laughs> oh. uh, you roll the dice on it. It's that. actually called Blockers. Oh. They must have shortened it because the cock. <laughs> yeah. yeah they they must have shortened it because of the cock. Yeah. It's, but it's a playoff of cock blockers. You know what I mean? Like, you, oh, you're a cock blocker. Oh, Leslie Mann. John Cena. And Ike Barinholtz. Yeah. From fucking Mad TV. I haven't. I legit hadn't seen him in anything until that. It's like, oh my god, like Barinholtz is still a human and alive. See, it goes first. It goes full circle. It's like a circle. We brought up Mad TV earlier, and now it goes back around to Mad TV. We brought up Sua Squad, Squad, and now it goes back to John Cena. John Cena is the epitome of reality. It's like a you know, circle. It's like a carnival ride. It goes. Bup, 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 bup. It's pretty much my head most of the time. I was gonna say clearly we went out some, some material for today. <laughs> no, no, I was like, no, honestly, that's like kind of like my brain is like. So people are like, dude, this guy. Like, I wonder what's going on. Like, anyone's ever seen me? Like, I wonder what's going on in my his head right now. He looks like he's focused on something. It's just it's just me saying no. Of staring off in the distance, but in my head, it's just a fucking monkey playing a fucking, <laughs> fucking tambourine, yeah. and it's just the music going. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, and then some drool starts to come out, and you just see so deep. <laughs> yeah. I realized how big of a moron I am. Just realized it now. No, I'm realizing the extent of it. Like, I can entertain myself by, this almost sounds insane. Like, at my job, when I'm driving around doing deliveries and shit like that, yeah. again, clarify, I don't deliver pizza, I deliver packages. <laughs> totally makes my job more credible for some reason. I don't know why, but it just sounds more respectable. And all I want to do is come off. Well, they respectful. both deliver boxes. I deliver into women's boxes, dude. That's what I do. You seen those borns? That's what I'm all about. Man. I'm knocking on doors, ruining marriages. Does that ever happen? No. Okay. It's not well, reality's not porn, Kevin. I don't Fucking, know. I don't know. Oh my god, you have a problem. What was I saying? <laughs> oh yeah, I found out how stupid I was. 
because I've been literally honestly like at this point while I'm driving I can just entertain myself by just doing silly voices and saying nonsensical shit and then I make myself laugh and I don't know if that's lunacy or stupidity. I think it's lunacy. You imagine you're driving a bunch of people around, you're just talking to yourself. Dude, I also I create okay, do, do, do you want to know the level of lunacy this is? So I invented this bit in my mind of someone. All right, this is already lunacy. <laughs> yeah. lunacy. I invented a good bit here. In my mind, that and I was performing it for myself out of fear and enjoyment while I was delivering packages. So it's like a bit where it's like someone kind of like starts out flirt flirtively laughing. They're like, <laughs> And then they get um, aggressively laughing. Yeah. Then they go to crying, and then they go back to laughing. So, so, so you want me to do it? This is gonna be something like this, right? Are you ready? Ha 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 I know, but I don't know why. There's someone laughing angrily at someone, then crying. It starts off like, oh, I'm just laughing a little bit too long. Then you start going, ha, 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 ha. I was doing that. Yeah. So I was doing that delivering packages, and then, but then I forget that I'm in public. I was gonna say, there's, so I deliver this play pack- some music. Right? I know. Be fine. <laughs> this is way more fun. <laughs> right? so, and trust me, I don't even do, I wasn't high or nothing. This is just my normal, sober, dumb brain. So like, that was making me, and then I'd get done from doing that to myself that I would laugh from doing it. <laughs> and then I would even start doing it and start laughing from doing it. And, uh, <laughs> So I get out of the truck and I forget that I'm in public so I'm like delivering this package to the house. I walk on, there's a guy, like, he walks up to grab the package. He goes, What were you laughing at? That's what he said. <laughs> yeah. And I went, Ha, I just heard something on there. And he's like, You don't have a radio play. <laughs> and I was like, Yeah. <laughs> he's like, said, Do I have to call the police? What are you laughing at? That's all I did. He's like, he's like you don't, Your radio's not on. I was like, Yeah. <laughs> what else? And he's just like, Okay. No, that's it. I just said, yeah, and then I walked away. <laughs> so we could get food for the party of the summer, dude? Yeah, I was thinking some pizza. pizza. Yeah, you're a pizza boy. Pizza, pizza boy. I want to be a pizza, pizza boy. boy. <laughs> pizza, pizza you know boy. From, Pepperoni stick in my head. What? Do you know where you want to get it from? I don't know, but I want to get some barbecue chicken pizza if we get pizza. Like, give me one of them. <laughs> you're fucking so funny when you now you're trying to make when you talk about food, you somehow become funnier. Like you're like, I mean, that could be one of the pizzas. That won't be my pizza. Yeah. I want pepperoni. Try. Yeah. I want pepperonis. I want vegetables. Just like what I want, we want the earlier in the Montreal. So there's no where's air sauce here. I almost flipped the table over. I'm like, what <laughs> is this? <laughs> you have know, like, we don't have. Like, Can't get that marinara. <laughs> and they said we don't have any. I knew I was like, we should leave. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fight. I seriously still wish because that place is right by Little Caesars. And you brought it up that you should just go walk to Little Caesars and buy the crazy pizza sauce. sauce. Yeah, that was crazy sauce. Oh, it is. By the, by the crazy sauce and come back and use it for it, like. Dude, that would be so fucking funny. What's your policy on bringing your own marinara <laughs> sauce? Is this allowed? Because yeah. you guys don't supply it, so it's not like I'm doing anything illegal, right? I would bought it here, but you don't have it for some reason. You make goulash, goulash, but you don't have fucking marinara sauce for mozzarella <laughs> sticks. What kind of business is this? I'll burn it to the ground. I'll burn it to the ground. Uh, that waitress likes you, Drew. No. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm such a moron with this shit, man. Oh, shit. I think we need to do plugs, don't we? Yeah. We're up an hour, like two minutes. All right. Let me just have some glue real quick. <sighs> All right. Oh, What's wait, wrong I with think, your phone? I think I accidentally have glue. Well, someone's calling me, but it's also broken. I'll call them back. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Why wouldn't that be all right? <laughs> you said you're huffing glue. Oh, I'm fucking lightheaded from huffing glue right now. Party of the summer. Word, dude. I just huffed all this glue. What's up? What were we talking about? 
What? They were about to do plugs. What's the plugs? For the podcast. Oh, yeah. Plugs for the podcast. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Are you the out of it? <laughs> uh, you want to do plugs? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> I I, is this a bit? I don't know. Is it? You tell me, Eva. I think it's a bit. Prove it. Do the plot. Try your best to do the plot. I'm right just now. kidding. It was a bit. Okay. You fucking idiot. You fucking moron. You bought that. Stupid. Stupid moron idiot. Dumb fuck. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you. you're listening to this on YouTube. Make sure you crash the fucking like button and smash the fucking subscribe button. Hit the little bell so you get notifications every time we drop an episode. Every Wednesday. <laughs> every Wednesday. You'll see it. Uh, if you're listening to this on Spotify, make sure you hit follow and download all the episodes. Download them, all of them. All of them. Uh, if you're listening to this on Stitcher, make sure you do the same. Fucking follow, download all the episodes. Oh. One sec. <laughs> this is an Apple podcast. Make sure you give us a five star rating. We write a little bit of a review. Say whatever you want. Talk about legit anything. Yeah. Talk about how we should make Huffing Glue more popular. Or if you want to see those I Love Lunch t shirts, a reality. The what? The I Love Lunch t shirts. Yeah, dude. I think that's a, that'd be a hot seller. We need to start a merch store. Even if we don't sell anything, we've been talking about it for a while. I think it's time to make merch. It's, we should just make our own clothes, essentially. I have enough clothes. No, you don't. You don't even fit in your clothes. You know what? We're doing plugs now. The insult team was for the, <laughs> the podcast. Is, Fair enough. All right, guys. Uh, you can also follow us. Find us on our Facebook and Annette Pit. You can like our page there. It'll give you all the updates on the new shit. And if we do any live shows, uh, as of right now, we are not. <laughs> <laughs> But maybe in the future, right? We're okay. almost approaching our one year. Yeah, this it's is this is when the, episode fifty two will be. This is when it gets big. This is when it gets big. I think we already peaked though. <laughs> I think we peaked at episode twenty. It's been downhill from there. <laughs> we'll find out though. The future is among us. Um, besides that, uh, you can email us at netpit at gmail dot com. Yeah, that's if you want to contact us for any kind of bookings. If you want to do this for stand up or a live podcast, stand up and live podcast. I just crushed 35 minutes. You know, I'll do 35 minutes at your show or more or less. I don't care. If you give me money, I will show up and I will entertain for a, for a good amount of money. Give me lots of monies. I want your monies. Also, you can do the same thing for Evan, I guess. I will pay you to make sure not to stand up. Um, that's fine as long as I get money eventually. As long as, as, long as it's a weird circle of money, as long as the money comes back, I don't care. If you want to pay me not to do stand up? That's fine too. Someone's that's like, just I will send you, giving me I will money. send you five hundred dollars right now to stop doing this podcast. Well, if I someone think we'd said that, stop, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> split it two ways. Nah, I keep it all. This is my <laughs> this is my baby. I mean, I own all fucking intellectual property. Prob- probably do. We sign no contract. We just I know, but it's my it. intellectual property, and that pit was uh, my. Baby, I created this podcast before you were around. So, yeah, this is all my intellectual property. So, you should get no money. Also, I do majority of the talking. Also, you can follow Evan on Twitter at <laughs> Salsa Evan. <laughs> do your plugs. Well, you Let's get out did, of here. Uh, you did Salsa Evan on Twitter and Instagram. Yeah. I don't have any uh, upcoming shows as of right now. Um, hopefully, I'll get back to you guys with more in the future. Oh, um, September 14th, I'm doing Big Stands, the Comedy Rumble, which is a comedy competition. So if you want to come out and support that, I don't know how much it costs to get in. Um, it will be, let me help you send the credit information. It's at One Night Stands Comedy Club in Waterford on September 10th. It's Friday at 9.30. It's September 10th? Yeah. Oh, I had the date wrong. <laughs> so Friday. Are you doing it? I have work, but I was asked to do it. Oh, look well, at you, big boy. Big boy, I work. Yeah, All sure. right. Well, I guess that's been the podcast, though. Peace. Peace. Make my balls.